I made a video not long ago where uh, I basically challenged myself about two hours before the local net started. I challenged myself to put together an antenna in uh, two hours and I actually did it in an hour. I, I put basically a quarter wave vertical for six meters in the loft and uh, ran a cable down here, a feeder cable down here for it. And uh, I was very proud of it. And then it occurred to me afterwards, I thought, well, hang on, I've already got a quarter wave vertical for 40 meters in the back garden. And I ended up using that to receive on because I was getting interference in the in the loft on the other antenna. Well, a quarter wave vertical for 40 is also resonant on six meters in theory. So I was already using it to receive on. Why didn't I just transmit on it? Simple, obvious solution. So that's what I'm going to try today. Now I've got the antenna analyzer down here and uh, if I turn the other camera on and let's turn the antenna analyzer on hopefully you can see this okay so the antenna is resonant on seven megahertz on the 40 meter band so let's uh, go up there okay so nice swr across the 40 meter band so in theory I should be able to take that up to 50 megahertz. I think it's 51 decimal five the net takes place on. And uh, that should be resonant around 51.5 or thereabouts, but it's not. Okay. You can tell I've really thought this video through before uh, before filming it. I think I know what's going on actually. If you, it's just occurred to me the penny's just dropped. So if you remember back to when I did my video on the uh, uh, loop counterpoise, loop on the ground counterpoise, I used a ballon, a one-to-one -one ballon from um, Cross Country Wireless, which has uh, low-pass filtering. I'm wondering if that, if at uh, 50 megahertz or six meters we're above that low pass filter so i think what i'm going to have to do is go and switch that out for a uh, normal one-to-one -one ballon so let's give that a go and then i'll i'll have another go at checking the swr in a minute okay so quarter wave vertical down at the base here for taking out my uh, cross-country low pass filter and just replaced it with a normal one-to-one uh, -one ballon and uh got my ground wire there to my uh, ground rod and uh, counterpoise wires out of the back there for my loop on the ground. So uh, let's go and stick this on the meter upstairs and uh, see if we can get its tune. Right, attempt two then. So let's uh, get the other camera and uh, turn on the antenna analyzer. Right, so where are we? We're 45, we need uh, 51.5, I believe the net takes place on. So, at 51.5, we're about 1.6, 1.7 to 1, and it's actually resonant at around, around about, 51 or thereabouts so okay so it's a tad higher than I would have liked but uh, hey it's not the end of the world we can uh, we can tune that out locally with the uh, you know even just the uh, built-in antenna tuner in the uh, ICOM 703 or I can stick a tuner on the uh, Yaesu whichever radio I decide to use so uh, I'm happy with that. That's not the end of the world. 1.7 is, like I say, a bit higher than I like to run with. I'd like to just take it down just a tiny bit with a tuner, but it should theoretically work. Now, what I'm not sure about is because the antenna is ground mounted and we're talking VHF, which, well, they say line of sight, but I mean, the 10 meters sticks up above the house at the top of the antennas above the house 
I'm not sure how well it's going to work round round to north side because it's quite long as well. It's quite tall. Uh, you're going to get quite a bit of radiation going sort of up at an angle, at quite a high angle, which isn't really what we want for uh, local communications. But uh, let's let's give it a go. Let's not knock it too quickly. Let's uh, give it a go and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Mike Zero, Golf Quebec, Charlie. Uh, Mike, Mike Zero, uh, Golf Quebec, Charlie. Uh, good evening to you. Uh, thanks for joining the uh, the net there, James. Good to uh, to hear you on. Uh, okay. Any other stations wishing to join? Um, I did manage to get away um, just before the lockdown to uh, had a few days away to Western Sydney, and then went down to Devon to family. That was just a few days before lockdown, so I was quite lucky to get that in really. Um, yeah, at least you can at least you can hear me though, Darren, because I'm um, just doing 20 watts and I, I've uh, using the <coughs> the 10 meter out, well the 10 meter ish aerial um, with the ATU, but I mean I've got a 1.2 SWR with the a, with the ATU, so I'm yeah, so I'm quite happy with the LG G tuner. Um, um, I'm running an RN electronics transverter. I don't know if anyone knows those. It's a very old uh, transverter in a die-cast box that was made about the same time as the uh, microwave modules and that. It's a 20-watt uh, transverter, but it seems very sensitive. It actually seems more sensitive than the uh, 847 receiver, which is good. But I'll be interested in some audio reports, etc. Um, I'm running it from a Yaesu 225RD on 144 megs. So from there. From M Zero GQC, a very good evening to you all, gentlemen, and uh, my congratulations to Adam as well for his uh, new full license. Well done on the exam, there, mate. A uh, bit of an experiment tonight using a forty meter uh, quarter wave vertical, which of course is also resonant on uh, six meters. So uh, I don't know how well it's uh, getting out. It is ground mounted, but uh, of course quarter wave. 10 meters tall it does uh, the tip of the antenna does go up above the uh, house so hopefully uh, it's uh, clearing all the clutter as they say and uh, getting out just running uh, 20 watts into that the SWR was a tad high um, so uh, just using a quick auto tuner to bring it down so that's uh, that's kind of my uh, experiment for tonight yeah, for, no, no problem at all there um, you're 20 over 9 with me uh, here um, so uh, uh, I know uh, I don't think you're too far away from me, but uh, yeah, your signal is definitely booming into me. No problem at all. Uh, good audio as well. Um, yeah, James, interesting on the MSJ Mankalu. Put some stage. Have to have a conversation with you about those because I've mi read mixed reports as to how well they perform. Some people say they're brilliant, and other people say they're mediocre. Um, uh, but it's always interested me to find out uh, exactly what those are like. So. Uh, at some at some stage, probably have a bit of a discussion uh, around them. Uh, I know they're a little bit pricey, but uh, now and again they come up uh, at a bargain all, price. All stations five and nine here. Some a bit over, but um, but I can no trouble hearing you, Adam. I always could hear you, but you couldn't hear me if my memory serves me right. I hope Darren can hear me because he couldn't last week. And uh, James is, is excellent audio as well. Yeah. I think James is very far from me, so... Um, I like your picture of your big aerial on the, uh, on QRZ, it's like a, um, a Yagi sort of type. So Adam, you were asking about the, uh, mast, uh, shown on my QRZ, that's, uh, unfortunately that photo's a little out of date, that was, uh, Lovely system I had there. I had a 12 meter mast with um, a Moxon beam for 20 meters and uh, absolutely brilliant. Basically, a Moxon is the equivalent of a two element Yagi, so uh, at 12 meters above the ground, I could uh, work the uh, USA sort of any day of the week on the 20, and it was absolutely brilliant. Um, unfortunately, we were looking at moving house, so of course, people coming around to view the house, a uh, huge great mast in the back garden tends to. Uh, put people off so I ended up pulling that mask down and then uh, the whole Covid thing kicked off and we never actually moved in the end so uh, I ended up maskless and uh, absolutely gutted so uh, 
We'll have to see what we can do about reinstating that. Well, that was a really interesting net. And I think that's the great thing about these local nets. You never quite know what the topic of uh, conversation is going to be. And you get to find out what other people in the area have been up to. So it's uh, it's really interesting. But aside from that, um, repurposing a quarter wave vertical for 40 on 6 metres. Well, the science is there. The science tells us that it'll... Uh, it will tune up at least, but what I wondered is because it's so long, as verticals get longer, you tend to end up poking radiation up at the sky, almost uh, in Nenvis fashion, if uh, if your uh, vertical element gets too long. So I wasn't quite sure how well it was going to get out, but in actual fact, um, it got out quite well. I mean, the last time I got on this net, there were couple of people who couldn't hear me that I couldn't get out to with the uh, vertical in the loft but uh, with this antenna I mean I guess the top part of it at least because it's 10 meters tall the top part of it is above the roof line so uh, I was able to hold a conversation with everybody and some of the signals were weak you know they were only showing about an S3 some of them weren't even registering on the S meter but uh, they were all fully quietening and I was able to uh, hold a conversation with all of them. So uh, using a quarter wave vertical for 40 meters, repurposing it on six meters, it works. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.